Interestingly, a German fashion designer named Anke Domaske claims to have created a form of milk cotton made from only casein fiber, which means that the fabric she produces can be considered to be entirely organic. Damaske's company is called Q-Milk, and she claims that she had the idea to develop a synthetic-free version of casein fabric after a family member became allergic to most types of clothing upon developing a certain type of cancer. Intrigued by the potential of milk fiber but discouraged by the manufacturing process currently used to make this fabric, Damaske developed her own method of creating casein fabric without using any toxic chemicals. She claims to make all of her cumul garments from waste milk generated by German dairies that cannot be consumed by humans. Consumers prize milk cotton for its softness and smoothness, and it is often used for apparel products that are worn close to the skin. However, it is relatively difficult to produce casein fiber, which means that most consumers are unlikely to have experienced the benefits of this fabric. Those who have worn milk cotton report that it has very pronounced moisture wicking abilities and pure forms of casein fabric can be washed at high temperatures. Since they contain acrylic, however, semi-synthetic forms of this fabric can only be washed in cold or warm water. How is milk cotton fabric made? The first step in making this textile is obtaining milk. In most cases, the milk used to make milk cotton is waste milk that is otherwise unusable. This product is generally obtained directly from a dairy and is then skimmed to remove fat and then dewatered. The end result is similar in appearance to milk-based protein powder, but to make fabric, the casein protein still needs to be extracted from this powdered substance. The powdered milk is then dissolved and purified to remove any substances that are not casein. The makers of Q-Milk claim that their production process produces zero waste and that their fabrics are entirely biodegradable. At this point, it is necessary to simply trust that manufacturers like Q-Milk are living up to their promises. How is milk cotton fabric used? In recent decades, milk cotton has primarily been used as an alternative to cotton or silk. While it's sometimes possible to find apparel that is made entirely from this casein-based textile, it is much more common to find milk fiber blend into other fabrics. For instance, it may be combined with silk or cotton to create a smoother texture or reduce costs. Casein fiber is sometimes used for home textiles such as towels and bed sheets, but its primary application is as a material for apparel. As casein fiber made from pure milk with no added synthetic ingredients becomes more and more popular, this type of textile is carving out a market niche for distinct groups of consumers. On the one hand, there are consumers who have allergies to other common textiles who seek out pure casein fiber for its unique allergen profile and generally mild texture. On the other, some consumers prefer pure milk cotton because they perceive that it is made in an environmentally sound manner and that it actually reduces the milk waste that would otherwise be generated by major dairies. Where is milk cotton fabric produced? No one country is considered to be a major producer of this type of textile because it is not produced in high quantities. If you want milk cotton that is made from pure milk using environmentally friendly processes, you will need to work with independent suppliers in Europe and elsewhere who are currently pioneering the renaissance of protein-based sustainable fibers. How much does milk cotton fabric cost? Milk cotton is generally quite costly. Purely organic milk cotton costs significantly more than other types of this fabric. For instance, the fabric that Q-Milk uses to make its textile products costs about 40% more than cotton, and these high prices will likely continue to disincentivize the popularity of this type of fabric. What different types of milk cotton fabric are there? Milk fabric is either made from acrylonitrile or from pure casein. How does milk cotton fabric impact the environment? The environmental impact of casein fabric varies depending on the type of manufacturing process that is used. For instance, the original forms of milk cotton that were popular in the early 20th century were often processed with formaldehyde, which is a neurotoxin that contaminates the ecosystem. Any milk fabric that is made with formaldehyde is not environmentally sustainable, but it is unlikely that any casein fiber manufacturer continues to use this toxic substance to create their products. Milk cotton made with acrylonitrile is marginally better for textile workers and the environment, but the production of this subtype of casein fiber still cannot be considered to be truly sustainable. It is practically impossible to recycle acrylic textiles and these fabrics do not decompose. In addition, most kinds of acrylic fabric are highly flammable, which poses another health hazard. If the acrylonitrile used in the milk cotton production process is not disposed of properly, it can negatively impact the environment. Also. According to some estimates, it takes about 100 gallons of milk to make 3 pounds of milk fiber, which means that the casein fiber production process could be wasteful. According to Anke Damaske, however, she can make 6 t-shirts with 1 kilogram of milk. 
which appears to indicate that the amount of milk needed to make this fabric is not standardized. Until the production of milk cotton becomes more mainstream, it will remain unclear whether or not this substance is good or bad for the environment. On the one hand, it seems that making this substance can put waste milk to good use that would otherwise be thrown away, but on the other, it is clear that certain methods for producing milk cotton are profoundly environmentally hazardous.